Hello, this is Dustin Hookstra with AWR. Uh, I'll be discussing some of the new improvements we made for power amplifier, power amplifier design in V13 of AWR. In V12, we made some efforts to improve uh, load pull, but we focused a lot of it on the output side of the device under test. In V13, we wanted to make sure to include all those enhancements to the source side. So what we did is we added the ability to do nonlinear source pull simulation and analysis. So for example, if you have a design like this um, where we're looking at the different impedances on the source side and we move those around the Smith chart to check the different impedances, there on the lowest Smith chart below you can see how moving the source impedance around affects our load pull contours. Likewise, if you change your, your, change your input power, you can see how that affects our power contours as well. So you can go back and forth and adjust your source impedances and your power levels and see the real-time effects of your contours. Another improvement we've made um, in terms of load pull is the ability to do harmonic load pull. So if you're attempting to get you know, those last few tenths of a dB out of a power amplifier design, you want to do more than just a match of the fundamental. You want to do a match of the second and third harmonic, for example. So if I were to grab this impedance point right here and move that around, that's changing my second harmonic impedance. And you can see on the lower right how that is affecting my load, my uh, PAE, uh, my load pull PAE contours. And also here I have my third harmonic, and you can see on the top left how my second harmonic contours are changing because I am changing my third harmonic. Uh, likewise, you can change your power levels for the contours as we did before to see how those affect the contours in the both Smith charts. Another thing in the realm of power amplifier design was the ability to do load pull on modulated signals. Before, we've been looking at just more or less simple signals, either CW or multitone. Well now, uh, using our visual system simulator, VSS, we can create a similar test bench to the one we have in Microwave Office, but now we have all the tools available to us that we have in VSS. For example, here I have a QPSK signal driving my amplifier instead of just a CW or a multitone signal. And here it is, uh, my load pull template is still here, but this time as a system sub, sub block. And so if I do, if I perform a uh, load pull on the system level, I can get, for example, ACPR contours. So I'm getting a lot more information about my amplifier than if I were just doing things at the circuit level. Uh, lastly, something we in added to Microwave Office in version 13 was the ability to do circuit envelope simulations in Microwave Office alone. So what you can do is now put an, our new port IQ envelope source into your circuit, which allows you to point to a data file, and this one's called multi-carrier QPSK. And then if you open that file, you can see this is my QPSK waveform defined here. And then if I drive my amplifier with that, now I can see my QPSK spectrum and voltage waveform versus time all within Microwave Office. So as you can see, we've added uh, quite a few new features in V13 to enable designers to do more with their power amplifier designs.